Hey there, today I'm going to create a few pieces with markers and this video is sponsored by Karen Markers. They sent me a bunch of markers, the pigment deco brush ones and I already had the more watercolor markers. They're, the other ones are water-based and you can blend them with water obviously and I will show both of those and create art with both of those and the pigments, deco brush are these ones and I got a very big set. Here you can see them in comparison to the Brush Marker Pro, that's what they're called. I will link all of the products that I used in this video in the description box. So if you're interested in the colors, then check out those links. I wanted to start with the Deco Pigment Brush because they come in such beautiful sets and those colored sets and you can buy them all individually or you can buy the whole set that I have and get inspired from the colors and even if you don't have a huge set of markers you can recreate those pieces and just use the colors that you want or try to get a color scheme together that you like and you can see here I'm using these colors they reminded me of fall so this video is gonna have quite a few of fall themes here because it's fall but all of these ideas Almost all of these ideas also work in any other season of the year. So if you're watching this in spring, you can still use these ideas. So with the first idea, I wanted to have this kind of magical forest and have a doorway into that world. And I think I saw something on Pinterest with that theme and I didn't copy it, obviously, but the, the idea came from someone else and I think in the piece that inspired me the door was open and someone was looking through it and honestly I kind of wish that I'd done that too because it would have looked a little bit more dynamic versus here you're kind of asking yourself why is there a door <laughs> but uh yeah that's the only thing probably that I would have changed and uh, I started to play around with these markers I had never used those before I had already used the other kind the water-based ones and I absolutely love the water-based ones which is why I actually reached out to Karen markers and asked them if they want to do a collaboration and and they said yes, so here we are. And uh, I'm really impressed by everything that has to do with these markers. They are packaged so nicely. They come in beautiful colors, especially the water-based ones are very juicy. The other ones, I have a feeling, are more made for calligraphy. They work really well with calligraphy. You'll see that later. And for if you want to paint something with them, you have to probably do it in more layers or I just have to get used to them I guess but here's the first piece it's my least favorite of the this video I'm still adding a little bit of details and later on I'm gonna create pieces that I really really love so stick around for those and I just, like I said, got inspired by the colors in this set. And I wanted to do this red and green theme. And I don't know, I go through phases where I like some color combos and dislike other color combos. And every time fall hits, I'm in the orange mood. And while these uh, paintings, drawings, they don't have that much orange in it I kind of like the combination here and here you can see my little kitty peek in again I think that was one of the last times I actually filmed with him on my lap because as cute as he is he interrupts me a lot as you can see and then he wants my full attention and he wants to be pet with both hands and that just doesn't work when you're trying to draw something and of course he always wants to cuddle when I'm working obviously <laughs> 
So I kind of started locking both of them out when I'm working most of the time because they just require so much attention. So I'd rather take a break and give them full attention then. And yeah, you can see that I was doing something that would fit the same color scheme on the left side, just these doodles. And I always love doodling uh, plants. So here's the first page spread of this video. Then for the next piece, I wanted to use the pastel colors and the pastel set and Oh my god, aren't these beautiful? They look like candy. I love pastel colors so much. And so I wanted to do something with them. And I wasn't sure yet if the pastel colors on their own, if they would give me enough contrast. Because just pastel colors is always so hard to do and get enough contrast with. As much as I love pastels, you kind of have to figure out a way to make the piece interesting. And I had in mind when I started this that I wanted to do a lot of line art on top of it. But then later on, I decided to add the contrast in another way. You will see that. And I think I did the best that I could. I mean, I would love to revisit this theme and maybe try it in different colors and just use the pastel colors as an add-on and not as the entire color palette. And yeah, like I said, I love pastel colors, but they don't give you a lot of contrast. So here you can see that I was still learning to use those markers. And I don't know if I was using them correctly because I had to go back and forth a little bit to build up the colors. I think those are really meant more for calligraphy and I was kind of expecting that to be honest. That's the way they are marketed so no hard feelings there. And here you can see that I added in a background and for that I actually used the black marker from my other set from the water-based brush markers and uh, that one was very very dark and gave me all of the contrast that I wanted and these are very very juicy to a point where I had to be a little bit careful not to smudge it because I was using a very smooth paper. I think those work best if you're using a more textured paper ideally even watercolor paper they work really well on watercolor paper. Um, I did not smudge on its own. It did not bleed at all. I just had to be careful not to put my hand into it because I was using a very smooth Bristol board. And with this very smooth paper, I mean, it comes with the territory. And I was using that because I was using the other markers. And they, I think they probably work the best on a smooth kind of paper. So here you can see that I started adding in the line art now. And this is where the piece really comes together because it gives it all of the definition and all of the details. And it really starts to shine here. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I like the purple on the cat. I was trying to add some stripes. My girlfriend said that it kind of looks like it it's skeleton I don't know I don't know what I think about that so like I said I might revisit this idea later on and change it up slightly because I love the idea I've seen so many versions of cats with fish in the air now and I something about that really intrigues me I think it so cool that the fish are in the air so that's the idea here if you decide to use any of the ideas in this video feel free to tag me on instagram at visual mind art please don't be mad if i don't see your piece because a lot of people tag me but please still do it because sometimes when i have the time i look through them all and i love to see your creations and my social media channels are always linked in the description box so you can see them there and for the next idea we're really going fall themed here but you can do that with 
flowers and spring tones or just normal leaves this is just such a simple idea so I was just doing the basic shapes of those leaves and now I'm using the brush marker pros by the way those are the water-based ones and at first I lay down at least for this uh, leaf I lay down some water and put it on there first and then I used the marker to put some pigment in there and I don't know if that's an unorthodox way to use these I don't know if that harms the pen because I was putting it directly into the water but as far as I could see there was no harm done and they worked just as fine afterwards as they did before I did that so uh, be cautious with this technique but it is possible so <laughs> that's what I did and here's the more where you can be sure you're not breaking your pens kind of way where I just put it down first then blended it add a little added a little bit of texture because it is a leaf after all with some fall texture so there's a few different techniques that you can use in order to blend those colors here you can see that I was doing more of a gradient with the one on the left and you can clearly see how well it blended once I added the water and and then once the water dries it blends even more so I really love to see this kind of magic here you can see it and it's a little bit frayed due to the watercolor paper but it didn't really bother me that much because I was going in and adding more line art anyways so I didn't mind that too much and um, was using it just for the background in a way and I still have to learn to use these markers because they're a little bit unlike anything I have used before to be honest I don't know what it is about them they're just a little bit different and I don't mean that in a bad way at all I really like them otherwise I would not be promoting them here it's just a little bit of a learning curve with them and I'm very excited to use them even more and to learn even more about how to use them. And here are very simple leaves that I did on this page. And here on the other side, I was trying to do some calligraphy and I'm not the best at it. I should probably practice it more, but I never really get around to do that. So I was really trying my best and wrote hello fall here and blended the colors together. And here they really shine because they blend beautifully they work so well for calligraphy so that was my suspicion <laughs> that they would work really well for that and I did some little doodles around this and then added a little bit of details with some with a fine liner and added in a little bit of shadows in a way with that that gave it more definition and then I decided to frame the piece a little bit and do this kind of gradient outline and I'm glad I did because it gave it all a little bit more definition here. So there you can see the finished page spread very fall themed but th you could do this kind of spread with every season. Now the last piece, probably my favorite from this video. I'm so happy with how this turned out. And I rarely have an idea that I really work through without any interruptions. I think I only took one break for this piece and that was when the first layer had to dry. And otherwise I painted that without interruption, which is very rare for my ADHD brain. But I was so inspired to create this and this is a cat looking at an aquarium or maybe it's uh, like one of those underwater glass things where you can see into the sea actually and maybe it's really the sea or maybe it's an aquarium 
I don't know, but this cat is looking at the fish through a glass and sitting on this kind of windowsill or maybe it's more of a brick wall or something. So it's sitting here and looking at a shark and some other fish and the most important thing about this piece was the lighting and I wanted to have this ray, these rays of light in there and I'm really happy with how that turned out because it blended so well. So you have the mixture of the ability to blend but also the ability to be, have more control. I don't know if I would have been able to create this with watercolors because they are much harder to control that way. Would have been harder to get those rays. So I'm so happy that this worked out the way that I had planned it and maybe I will revisit this one as well and create it on a bigger scale. I don't know if the reason why I like it so much is because it's not bigger or maybe it would still work really well on a bigger scale. So that's for the future to tell us. So I made sure that the fish were brighter in a way than the water, but I really made sure to do the shading in a way that made sense. The reference picture for the cat was actually my cat and I tried to give him his fur. He's actually white but I didn't want him to be too bright because it is more of a silhouette here and it wouldn't have worked otherwise so I was really going back and forth between that and for the highlights I was actually using one of the deco brush colors so they work really well together if you combine the two mediums. I really hope that you enjoyed all of those ideas and that you liked this video and if you did so please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!